Hello, welcome to the Fish Nerd Show about fish, fishing, and eating fish. It's I'm Clay, <laughs> Chief Executive Fish Nerd uh, of the Fish Nerds Podcast. Happy to be here. It is National Podcast Posting Month, 26 days in. Oh my goodness, how am I doing it? I'm so glad this month is almost over. I like doing these new segments a lot, but it is hard to get them out every single day. But people are listening, and you are listening, and I couldn't be happier about it. Uh, one of the great things that's happened this week is I got a message over Instagram. You can find us at Fish Nerd Nation on Instagram. From Piper Steinmetz, who is a listener and is in college studying the outdoor industry. I don't actually know. I should have, I should have interviewed him. I don't know what the class was or what the reading was, but his assignment was to interview somebody from the outdoor industry and make a podcast about it. So he interviewed me, and I was really touched uh, that anyone cared about what I'm doing up here in the White Mountains, especially, you know, I'm a college kid uh, like Piper. And so I, I'm just like, it just really touches my heart that people care about what the fish nerds are doing, uh, that, that you are there listening to us and that contributing. So he sent it to me to listen to. And I thought, what better fish in the news than this? The fact that we are reaching people and uh, hopefully uh, make people smile, laugh, think, whatever, uh, and having a good time. So here is uh, Piper's summary, description, and thoughts on our interview that we had last week. I uh, and uh, and I, I I think you know Piper. I would give you Piper. I'm going to give you an A on this assignment because. You interviewed me. You deserve an A. Maybe an A minus. Some grammar problems. We'll talk about that. I'll I'll mark it up, send it back to you. Uh, (laughs) But that's it. Here is your Fish in the News segment with Piper Steinmetz. News, news, fish in the news. Everybody loves their fish in the news. Hello, and thank you for tuning into my mini podcast. My name is Piper Steinmetz, and I'm a student at the University of Wyoming. I was recently tasked with interviewing someone in the outdoor recreation or tourism scene. And the someone I chose was Clay Groves, who is a licensed fishing guide, as well as the chief executive fish nerd of the Fish Nerds podcast. And he's from Conway, New Hampshire. Conway is a very big tourism town, which is predominantly a skier's paradise. Clay, in this way, has created a mini monopoly of the fishing industry in this town and is known as a local expert in regards to fishing. Clay specializes in ice fishing, as well as fishing in the summer from his pontoon boat. He also has activities for kids, like tubing or swimming, so a big demographic can experience a good time with his services. He has also even accepted just taking people out for boat rides, which makes his guiding services quite special. A lake that he talks about guiding on is Silver Lake, which is 969 acres and has a max depth of 164 feet. And his code for the fish nerds is spawn early and often, never trust a free lunch with strings attached, and swim against the current every chance you get. What got Clay into this field is his love for fishing, as well as watching people catch fish. I first learned about him when I was looking for a podcast about fishing, and stumbled across the Fish Nerds podcast. Clay, and some of his other correspondents from different parts of the country, talk about anything and everything that relates to fish. Whether that's from a point in the news, or covering a fish of the day, Clay keeps it interesting, usually funny, and mostly true. What makes Clay's intro into the podcast scene interesting is that it all stemmed from a book aiming to capture the experience of catching and eating every freshwater fish in New Hampshire. But when he got in contact with a publisher, they said he was too regional, and they suggested to start doing a podcast. The next day, Clay started the podcast and has been schooling the fish nerds for the last five years. But this isn't the only hat he wears in terms of work. Clay has six jobs to bring an income on the side of his fishing service and podcast, which include a grant writing job, a bartender at two different locations, as well as a radio DJ for a local station. Through these jobs, he's able to promote his fishing services and can do so successfully with his degree in psychology. He understands people in a way that no other guide really does. He feels that talking to people in his bartending career takes the awkwardness out of meeting a guide for the first time in the boat. Clay's biggest interest in fishing is helping others to catch fish, 
because in his words, fishing is an act of hope. You drill a six inch hole and hope that the fish will be there, especially on Silver Lake. Which brings us to the reading in chapter three from Outdoor Recreation in America, written by Clayne R. Jensen and Stephen P. Guthrie over the topic of challenge and adventure. The reason people seek Clay's services, paired with the unforgiving Silver Lake, are to be challenged to catch fish. Many people have been defeated by this lake and seek it out if there, to find out if there really is fish there, bringing in the challenge and adventure piece. The biggest challenge in Clay's field, he said, would have to be marketing. He lives in Conway, New Hampshire, where skiing is top priority, and there is no other guide service for another 50 miles. He has to market to people who may not be there for fishing at all, but rather skiing. This can prove to be hard at times and challenging for Clay. And one of his challenges he's dealing with now is deciding how much to charge per trip. Clay runs about 60 trips per year, and it's about finding the sweet spot to charge is the biggest challenge for him. In some of the last bit of the talking I did with Clay, he said that the industry has changed his life by making him the local fish expert or nerd. He enjoys the conversation of anything fish and answering others' questions. One thing that stuck with me the most during my interview with Clay was his message to those coming up in a career of environmental stewardship. Clay says that we should take the doom and gloom out of the subject, and that a lot of people jump into this field from a view of negativity. He also says rather than dwelling on the bad, we should look at some of the more positive approaches to this field to have a better outlook on it. The last thing I would like to talk about is the role of professionals in the outdoor recreation or tourism industry. I believe the role of professionals in the outdoor recreation or tourism industry is to not only teach those who want to learn, but they also facilitate a means to connect to the world around us. They create a deeper connection to a space that we couldn't draw for ourselves. By ways of this connection, we can create awareness to things like climate change and deforestation, which need more attention. Without these individuals and the sacrifices to the industry, it wouldn't be the monumentous success story that it is today, though we are as aware as we have ever been in our entire existence about these topics. Whether that is in the outdoor or tourism space, they are all here for one common purpose, which is to serve people and truly give them an unforgettable experience. In relation to the role of professionals in the outdoor recreation space, I believe that the Fish Nerd podcast itself facilitates an appreciation for not only the ecosystems around us and how sensitive they are, and as well as an appreciation for the species and how diverse our ocean or freshwater ecosystems can be. I think that this podcast really brings to light what we do not consider when it comes to fishing. This podcast considers things like fish handling, what we should, how we should be dealing with them, um, devices for deep sea fishing and how we get them back to the depths of the water that they came from. I think it just facilitates a, an awareness, more of an awareness campaign for, uh, those coming up into these types of fields, as well as anybody who's just interested to listen to the podcast. And that's a big reason why I enjoy listening to the podcast and relating it to not only my schoolwork, but my fishing life as well. Thank you for listening to my podcast. News, news, fish in the news. Everybody loves their fish in the news. Piper, thank you again so much. Truly truly touched by uh by just being thought of as as a <laughs> as a part of this industry it's i i suffer from a problem what we think they call it um imposter syndrome yeah i do all the things i want to do but i always feel like i'm just pretending to do it uh, even though i've been making this podcast now for almost seven years i always i'm just it's amateur hour all the time here at the fish Nerd podcast <laughs> so glad to have listeners like you who uh, really kind of fuel this for me because we don't make money on this show this is, you can you'll notice there's not any ads sold, uh, mostly because I I haven't been motivated to sell ads ever. Uh, but you know, if you're, anyone wants to give me money, I'll take your money. Um, but it's a passion project. If you do want to give money to the fish nerds, we do have a Patreon account. 
It is uh, patreon.com slash fish nerds, and you can give us some money. Starting in January, I'm revising that yet again. Right now, you give us any, any money at all, I'll send you some ringtones. Uh, if I forgot to do that to you because I'm terrible at tracking all this stuff, send me a quick email, clay at fishnerds.com, and I will send you your ringtone. The ringtones are the Fish in the News theme song uh, or our regular theme song. Um, and starting in January, I think we're going to do some really cool stuff on Patreon, so you, you may want to pay attention to it as we get into it. Uh, we're going to do Fish in the News right through December, but not daily. Uh, well, we always do fish in the news, but we're gonna, what we're going to do is, a, as I've been getting so many people who want to contribute to the news, I'm going to keep using listeners' uh, segments right through December. But the regular show's coming back uh, right after Thanksgiving, uh, and we should have a really great time. I got some good stuff lined up. Doc Martin has is out of control right now. She is reading all these science papers and then calling the scientists who wrote them and recording with them. It is going to get some heavy next level nerd stuff coming up December and January. So look forward to that. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Please, if you're not supporting us financially, which most of you aren't, that's fine. Um, although we do want your money. Uh, support us by telling people about our show. You, this is your show, the listeners. This is you guys. This is your show. So tell people about it and and let them know. And, you know, call me up. Tell me what you think. Or no, call me. Don't call me. Uh, send me a message <laughs> over Facebook or whatever, but let us know what you think. I mean, it really does. It really just warms me up. And I will be back tomorrow with the next edition of Napob Pomo, National Podcast Posting Month, Fish in the News. And all these Fish in the News segments are going to come down uh, December 31st-ish. So I'm going to leave them up for the month of December, so those who are trying to keep up can have some time. But make sure you subscribe to the podcast so you have them on your phone. Fish Nerds out.